If you Google exploding power banks, you're going to be flooded with a lot of headlines. And some even die from it. They're not even allowed in your check-in luggage. But why? Why are they so dangerous? Why do power banks explode in your faces? To understand why they can be so lethal, we first need to understand what they're made of. Typical power banks, they are made of lithium-ion or lithium polymer battery, circuit board, and of course the casing itself. Most use a lithium-ion battery which is rechargeable and extremely powerful. During a discharge cycle, aka when it's charging your phone, lithium ions move from the negative electrode through an electrolyte to the positive electrode and back when it's being charged, aka a charge cycle. But lithium ion batteries have a tendency to combust and when this electrolyte barrier breaks, that means... That's why they're not allowing you to check in baggage. If they do catch fire, air stewards have fire extinguishers on a plane to put them out. And some companies make power banks with cheaper or recycled lithium-ion batteries with bad circuit design to cut costs. While this lets them sell it at a much lower price, it also makes them a safety hazard. Think this will never happen to you? If you own a cheap power bank because you think branded ones aren't worth it, think again. A good circuit design should match the battery's safety standards and protect the power bank from overvoltage, fluctuations in temperature, and short circuits, which can stop a person's heart. Look at this case in Malacca, where a 19-year-old boy was found dead on his bed with a burn mark on his shoulder because he was wearing earphones connected to his phone, charging from a power bank. User errors like these are what makes them lethal, especially cheap and badly made ones. Overcharging, for example, can cause the battery to overheat and swell, just like a balloon. The more your battery swells, the more likely it is to explode. Some higher quality power banks are built with overcharging protection. You see the devices right from 0 to 80% is charging very fast, right? 80% to 100% is very slow. To avoid overcharging, battery management circuit switches to constant voltage and the current is slowly decreasing. Cheap power banks don't have overheating protection for extreme temperatures temperatures, whether hot or humid. Gases build up in the battery, and the moisture damages its insides. Exposing your power bank to malicious weather, like in a car under the sun, can make it go kaboom. Look at these guys, who made that mistake. Not ideal to find your car roasted like that. Dropping your power bank can also damage it physically or internally. Of course, it's not as visible as cracking your phone screen, but the shock from a fall may rattle the loose circuits inside, especially for no-name brands. However, some reliable tech companies actually put their power banks through a drop test, from a few different heights too, to make sure that it's safe for us if we Drop. So how can you prevent your power banks from exploding? Avoid charging it overnight or leaving it unattended for long hours at a time unless it tells you to do so on its first charge. Always use the cables that come in a box. Using cheap ones may not provide enough current for your power bank to get a good charge. It can also degrade the components and battery of the power bank, making it overheat and catch fire faster. And finally, invest in a good quality power bank. The easiest way to do this is to get them from reputable brands or vendors with proven track records. When something sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Oh, and read the user manuals too. I know we usually chuck them aside, but every brand and model has their own unique instructions, so you'll get the most out of what you paid for. Most of us forget that power banks have a limited lifespan. Their lifetimes are calculated by the number of charge discharge cycles it can go through before it stops working. Every rechargeable battery will wear out eventually, even expensive iPhones. Your power bank is the same, so even if you think you don't need a new one, you should still maybe change it every few years anyway.